Hey, it's Paul Massetta. And if you've ever had somebody owe you a favor, but doesn't seem to be repaying it, and it seems to be getting worse as time goes on, there is a logical, psychological reason for this, and I'm gonna explain it to you and how to circumvent it in this video. This book right here, The Street Persuasion Playbook, 101 Ways to Gain Compliance from Others in Real Life. You can grab a digital copy of this book. The technique that I'm gonna share with you today comes straight from this book. And like I said, what you get in this book are 101 ways to gain compliance from others. Here's number 91. Number 91 is to adjust your expectations of personal favors. So this was actually concluded by a researcher by the name of Francis Flynn. What he hypothesized and later found to be true is that when a person does a favor for somebody else, the act of doing the favor intensifies and becomes stronger as time goes by for that person. But conversely, the person on the receiving end of the favor views the favor as less valuable as time goes on. What this tells us is that if you do a favor for somebody and you are expecting something in return, you better get it from them as fast as possible. So. The best example that I can give you for this is lending somebody money, right? So your friend calls you up. Hey, Paul, I'm in a jam. I got to pay my American Express bill today. And, uh, you know, I'm waiting on a bunch of invoices from my customers to get paid. Anyway, I got to pay this bill. It's 2,500 bucks. I'm, I'm going to be getting invoices paid from my customers next week for around five grand. So like all I need is this 2,500 bucks for the next seven days. And then once my invoices get paid, I can give you back your money. Okay, no problem. You lend your friend the 2,500 bucks and then what happens? A week goes by, a month goes by, six months goes by, a year goes by. Well, what's happening is in your mind, that $2,500 is becoming more and more valuable. And the favor that you did for that person is becoming more and more valuable. But what's actually happening in that person's mind is the complete opposite. The favor is becoming less valuable. It's losing its power. Now look, there are probably a million different reasons why this happens to people in their minds, but the reality is that it just happens, right? So the, the object of the game here is not to question reality. The object of the game is to work with reality. And if we know that realistically favors become less valuable to the people on the receiving end of them as time goes by, we have to set in stone that we need that favor reciprocated by a specific deadline. Now look, if you're doing somebody a favor just for the sake of doing them a favor because they're your friend and you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart, that's a completely different thing, right? But if it is a reciprocal favor, right? Like something that involves money, something that involves time, something that involves resources that you need to have paid back, you have to be ultra specific with that person right from the get-go. You have to be ultra specific and depending on who it is, you might even have to get it in writing. Look, here's the deal. People generally want to stick to their commitments, okay? If a person deviates from their commitments, they're usually gonna feel some sort of discomfort inside, right? They're gonna feel some sense of uneasiness. That's just who we are as human beings. Most of us wanna keep our commitments. Now, are there people that break commitments? Absolutely. But when people break their commitments, even the most unreliable people, they experience cognitive dissonance inside, right? And what cognitive dissonance is, is it's a disconnect between what you said you were gonna do and what you actually did. And so then people will use reasons to kind of justify why they did it. They could say, well, you know, I lent that, I lent that person money in the past and they didn't pay me back. 
or I really didn't ask him for that much for that big of a favor. Like the favor wasn't that important, or uh, the the person that person has defaulted on payments to other people, right? So they'll use reasons to justify why they didn't fulfill their commitments, but that doesn't mean that they don't still experience the discomfort and uneasiness associated with not fulfilling the commitment. My point is that in general, people like to keep their commitments. The problem is that a lot of times people will do a favor for somebody and they expect of a favor in return or they expect some sort of reciprocity or they expect the favor to be repaid, but they never actually get the commitment from the other person. Everything is very wishy-washy. Yeah, get me back when you got it. Yeah, we'll talk about it another time. Yeah, it's not that important right now. And then you know what happens is people forget about it because they never made a commitment. And then as time goes by, they forget more and more about it, but it's actually intensifying in your mind and that becomes a problem. So the very first thing that you have to do is you have to get a commitment from the other person that they are going to pay you back however they are, however you agree upon that. The second thing you got to do is you got to give them a deadline. People respond to deadlines. This is how the human mind is wired, okay? The human mind is wired in such a way that our job is to protect our resources, time, money, energy, opportunities. We're, we're trying to conserve that stuff as much as we can, okay? So if I owe uh, my car payment, let's say, if my car payment is due on the 15th of the month, that's when I'm going to pay the car payment if I have the money, right? Because I've been given a deadline. That's why the car company gives me a deadline, right? Because they know that if I don't have a deadline, I'm going to want to preserve that money, right? Because that's my job. That's what the human mind does. That's what we do as people. We want to conserve our resources. So if I can put off paying my mortgage as long as, I, as long as I can, I will. If I can put off paying a credit card debt, I will. If I can put off paying my car payment, I will. If I can put off doing something that I don't really want to do, I will, right? That's just what people do. That's why we have deadlines in place. So number one, get a commitment. Number two, get a set a deadline with that person and have them commit to agree to pay you back within that deadline. Because like I said, if you don't, all that's going to happen is that favor is going to lose power and value in their mind while it gains power in your mind. And all that's going to do is piss you off. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified, notified, so you get notified when I update and I upload new videos and grab yourself a copy of this book. I'll put a link in the description. Have a great day.